So relational coordination is how people work together. It is a process of communicating and relating for the purpose of uh, integrating our tasks. So often people have these areas of expertise. It's a great way to organize the work, but it doesn't work if we don't bring those um, areas of expertise together. Uh, and we're doing that often across um, status boundaries that make it difficult to pull the pieces together. We've inherited bureaucratic organizations that have reinforced the silos. We may have some human tendencies, perhaps innate, that encourage us to focus on what we know rather than branching out across difference. So relational coordination is really uh, creating shared goals, shared knowledge, and mutual respect across those boundaries in order to achieve a set of desired outcomes. One thing that has amazed me about the work that I see people doing is the flexibility of the concept. Um, so just as a few examples, we've seen people using relational coordination to improve homeless services in Texas, the banking sector in Pakistan, um, elder services in Japan, uh, criminal justice system in Sweden, and nonprofit organizing in Norway. And we see people using it for healthcare really around the world because I think right now healthcare is the sector of the economy that is most in transformation. Um, and so I think the biggest impact that we've had with relational coordination is helping to improve the delivery and use of healthcare.